This is the sound bite that was that came out of the Jordan Love press conference yesterday. When asked if he would be ready to start the season in week one. Should the opportunity present itself, are you prepared to be the quarterback week number one? A hundred percent. Obviously, this is a time where you know I'm getting a lot of extremely valuable reps that you know I might not have been getting in a normal circumstance. So uh, you know I'm just I'm you know going to take it day by day and uh, you know. But yeah, that's I mean that's what I'm here for. I'm a, I was drafted here to play quarterback, so uh, I'll definitely be ready week one. Now. You could sit here and say, what a silly question that is. Because what is the answer you're going to expect from him? Could have given him the Kevin Durant answer. Because you could have basically, which is what? Well, did you see what happened after the game, uh, the Nets game? Did you see that, Brockman? The reporter asked Garnett, like, two years after your calf injury, did you expect to be back here? Right. And he looked at him and he goes, is that a real question? Like, how am I supposed to to answer that? Like, of course. The question is, is like, how, you know, now that you're doing this here, the way that you are, what if I had told you when you were going through the injury that this is the result or uh, you might even get the same answer than that or, you know, uh, hey, what are your thoughts now about your journey now that you've reached this point, the journey of you going through free agency and hurt, you know, would you mind uh, letting us in on, on your thoughts on how satisfactory this must feel for you or something like that? Because to me, asking a question like, are you going to be prepared to be the quarterback in week one is similar to like, you know, walk me through. Are, are you prepared to urinate down your leg week one if given the opportunity? <laughs> are you are you prepared to go into New Orleans and soil your pants? Because <laughs> it's similar to like, what's his response going to be? But it did, however, elicit an answer. I was brought here to play quarterback. Yes, Jordan Love, you were. And isn't that the reason why 12 isn't there? I heard that answer. 100%, of course, he's going to be 100%. No, actually, if, if given the opportunity week one, I will, in fact, soil my pants. And tune into Fox so everybody could see that. <laughs> no, that's not the soundbite. The soundbite is, I was brought here to play quarterback. Ah, Yes, you were Jordan Love. Just like any quarterback that's traded up for in the first round of the draft is brought there to play quarterback and to play quarterback for that team. Yes, correct. Correct Amundo, to use the phrase from Happy Days, that does in fact rhyme. (laughs) Yep. So, how does this week's minicamp work? All move forward. Jordan Love did get the reps, didn't he? And next time we hear from 12, we'll be assuming this will be the next time when he is all mic'd up, paired up with Bryson DeChambeau. (laughs) Seriously. Why else would he be in front of a microphone? I mean... I, I don't think any uh, sports center anchors he's tight with is is leaving the network, right? I mean, we'll, we'll invite him on. I, I can't imagine he would accept an invitation onto a show to continue to talk about things. Yeah, I mean, he hasn't been on. Next time will be, and guess anywhere. what? Guess what he's going to say that day? Nothing. It will just be the subject of barbs and subject of razzing. It'll be the subject of haze. And shade being thrown in his direction by everybody that he's competing against or is broadcasting his day. He'll expect it. He's ready to dish it back. We'll parse all of that. And then comes training camp. What will happen then? Because Jordan Love was brought there to play quarterback. Correct. And he was brought there to play quarterback sooner rather than later, or at least for sure before Rodgers was ready to give everything up until he had an MVP season, and thus a wrench got thrown in. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.